to me, of course, like I said, I, I'm not a, an expert on, on Islam or Sharia, but what Sharia would mean to me, it's just, it's just a form of government. It's a form of government, it's a form of punish, a punishment uh, that Islam has, that it's attached uh, uh, to the uh, to the Quran there, it's a, it's a form of how they, they govern and punish people. Uh, and uh, we, we do not want that type of uh, government here in America. Uh, I, believe, I believe that actually the strict, strict following of the Quran does usually lead to terrorist activities. I believe that it is possible for Muslims and Christians to live peaceably together if, if we live under uh, one set of rules and regulations. That is why we demand uh, Muslims here in, in America, they need to live under uh, a constitutional law and not try to uh, institute uh, Sharia. I think under those conditions, uh, we can live together, yes. Okay. The Constitution uh, recognizes uh, uh, freedom of speech. Uh, and and I, as I said, sh Sharia has a, a brutal form of government. Uh, uh, it stones uh, homosexuals, it stones adulterers, it, it hangs people, uh, it, it cuts off limbs. I spent 30 years in Europe. Uh, we see that very clearly there in Europe. We see it very clearly in almost every European country. Uh, it's, a, as far as I understand, a pretty much a historical fact that once they reach 4 or 5%, they start trying to do that. Uh, there has even been voices here in America uh, where Muslims have spoken out and said they would like to institute uh, Sharia um, uh, here in America. As far as our studies go, uh, there are uh, 50 such cases that took place here in America in 23 different states where Sharia was used um, to, to in, in, in a court case. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. If you look at 25, na 25 nations, 25 nations, you do not find one Islamic nation. And 25 nations who give to the poor, who give to disadvantaged nations, who give to poor nations, you do not find one. Number 25 is Iceland. They have given 6.7 million. 25. 25 nations, not one of them is Islamic. What we are trying to do is stand up America now. Why are we are here now to promote this rally, uh, to support this rally? We are trying to wake up Americans to speak out. We are not preaching hate. We are not against Muslims. We do not hate Muslims. They have freedom of speech. They have the First Amendment. They can do, they can evangelize. What they cannot do is promote Sharia. Well, what they cannot do is replace our Constitution. What we will not tolerate is any type of replacing, altering our Constitution. That we will not tolerate. That is what we stand for. What is the mosque? The mosque is a victory celebration. The mosque is a victory mosque. There is no other explanation. Agreed. You have the right. Agreed. But because of the American people, because of what they want, because we are a religion of peace and harmony, we will move the mosque. They refuse to do it. Because they refuse to do it. It is very, very clear that Muslims in America have a hidden agenda. And part of that hidden agenda is Sharia. You know, I spent to me. No, I spent 30 years in Europe. I was 30 years in Europe as a missionary. I saw Islam grow. What we need to do, we need to stand up, we need to speak out, we need to not be intimidated, we need to not be fearful. Otherwise, we will end up to be Europe. Right now in every single European nation, whether it be England, France, or Germany, no matter what. We're not here to draw away from it. Say thank you thank for you. you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Thank you. It has divided us into different groups, different yes, organizations, different... Tell you, I'm survivor of the partition of India. Uh -huh. When India was divided, I was 18 years old. At that time, because I was Hindu, so they forced me, they are radicalizing the Muslim community in this country. Islamification is the uh, introduction of uh, Sharia law, um, uh, which is of course uh, spreading in uh, cities all over the Western world. Uh, sections of uh, various cities are being de facto ruled by Sharia law. So, so that is uh, Islami Islamification. But I mean, is it Islam in general that's inherently violent or a threat, or is it simply radical elements? I would say it's Islam as such. Islam as such is, is bent on, on uh, jihad, uh, 
many Muslims do not subscribe to that idea, but I mean, if you have to distinguish between Muslims uh, and Islam. Islam as such is a totalitarian ideology. It's based on jihad. Uh, it's based on the introduction of Sharia law. Okay. Just finally, what percentage of Muslims in Europe represent a threat? I couldn't say. Uh, I, I simply would not venture any uh, any guess on, on that. We gotta go. Come on. Yeah, we gotta go. Okay. Thank you very much.